Good afternoon. Happy July 4th. Happy Independence Day to everyone out there. Thanks for listening. Welcome to Halakha Day, number 849. Halakha Day keeps the eight away. This is Gabriel Jackson, and welcome to the Halakha Day show. We'd like to thank CS and family for sponsoring today's Halakha. He would like to remain anonymous. So thank you, CS. You know who you are. Here we go. We're so excited. We're starting a new chapter, laws pertaining to washing of hands before the meal. There are different times we have to wash our hands. One we mentioned a long time ago, when you wake up in the morning, you wash your hands, you take a cup like this, right? Generally two handles if you can, right? There's laws about what the cup is supposed to look like, but this is really the best type of washing cup. You pick up at the right, this is when you wake up in the morning, you pass to the left, right represents kindness, you pass to the left, you pour over the right, left, right, left, right, left, you alternate, right? Three times, and that's the washing of the hands in the morning. But washing the hands before you eat bread is different. Again, you pick up at the right, you pass to the left, and then technically you can just do one and one. But most people do one, two, one, two. Some people do one, two, three on the right, one, two, three on the left, okay? And that's the washing of the hands before you eat bread. If you wish to eat bread for which hamotzi is required, it's gotta be real proper bread. Some breads look like bread, but they're actually Mizonos, they're cake-like breads. They have that for planes, because you fly, because they know it's not so easy to go wash your hands. So it looks like a, a challah, it looks like a bread sandwich, but it's actually a Mizonos type of bread. Uh, Baramian and Mizonos. But if you know it's bread, you know you have to make a mozi, you gotta wash your hands. You must first wash your hands. If the bread you're going to eat is the equivalent of an egg, you know you're gonna have a, that minimum amount of bread, you must recite a blessing for the washing, which is Baruch Ata Hashem, Elokeinu Melech Olam, Asher Kiddushonu Mitzvahis Vitzivanu, Al Netilas Yadayim. But if you're going to eat less, you say, that hal looks delicious, I gotta try a tiny, tiny piece. Right? So then, wash those hands, same way, take with the right, pass left, one, two, one, two, that's what I do, right? But, you do not recite the bracha, the blessing upon washing. Okay, you still make hamotzi lechem to that bread, but you don't make the blessing of the washing of hands. That was your lacha. Thanks for listening. That was 849. The sponsor of your lacha, $36, 100 of the gold. We'll see you tomorrow.